Hello, this is Pete Agnew here on the Nazareth Family. Dan and I, we, we were at school together. You know, the first day when you go to school, you're five years old, and you're sitting at, the first time you go, your mum drops you off. Well, I was sitting next to him. Well, he was this side, I was that side. So we've known each other since we were so five so years old. Right? And uh, we were been best oh, pals. So, the so that was 54 years ago that when we did that. And we started the band in 61. I was 16 62. when I joined. 16. 1662. We've been doing it for together for 40 something years. My mother was always worried about this, you know, like if, if I'm Nothing going to... Nothing to fall uh, back on, son. I need somebody to fall back on. Well, I figure most guys of my age have already retired, <laughs> you know, so... That's true, actually. Uh, they, 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 they said, they've all retired. So I guess this is it. I'm just, uh, I'm stuck with it. It was funny, a, a couple, few years ago there, my wife, Jane, she says to me, you know, she said, we were out for dinner one night, she said, I've never liked that name, Nazareth. Oh, well, fair enough. I said, it's a wee bit late to change it now, you know. <laughs> I've done 20 albums. You know. Formerly Nazareth. You For, that uh, what was it? The, the guy formerly known as uh, Nazareth. Uh, you know, the clocks or something, uh, you, know. you know. I never liked that name, Nazareth. I thought, well, I we paid for that. Paid for the house. I never liked that name, Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Proper job, I don't know what, what that is. Yeah, I mean, I just couldn't, I just couldn't imagine doing anything like that anymore, you know, just... You know, was just it the, the spinal tap? I could work in a hat shop. No. You could sell shampoos. 
What size are you, sir? Six and seven eighths? <laughs> six shoes, sir. Six shoes. No, we've, uh, we've done this too long. Yeah, it's too late, too late, Mr. Uh, Kai. Yeah. The man with the balloons has just. Oh, just. That's the. Well, just all this, even this. It's kind of silly, but it's what you do, oh. you know, and you, and, and you, you just, just get used to it, you know. know. And, uh, it's, it's like... I mean, we, we, we take a couple of friends out there again, you know, that we're just well, a lawyer, Blair and oh. stuff, and we take them to some place daft, you know, if we're playing Mongolia or, or oh. something like that, you know. And you take them out for a laugh. And it's all very, like, for them... It's a great adventure for them, right? And but, as far as we're concerned, it's just another gig. You know, you, you just, it doesn't matter where it is, when we get there, if they've got a stage, if they've got electricity, that's very important, by the way. Oh, you have they to need have electricity. You've got to have uh, that. And sometimes we've been to places that didn't. Oh, I've done you know, that too. But uh, you need electricity, and we'll play. I've got a team, there's cars, and I don't want to settle down. The kid that shoots them easily without the muscle rails. Women ain't come to me, and I don't have to chase them down. Moving to the whole place, they may be not for a while. I remember when we recorded this thing. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, no. 148 takes. Yeah, well. We recorded this number like we was in the, the Pine Mobile, and we, it's such a simple song, you know. But they had this Pine Mobile, and they were building the QE2 at the time. You know, the QE2 was coming out. And we right. were doing it at the docks uh, in Inverkeeding, and it was a shit breaking yard, and the guys, uh, <laughs> the guys in the Mobile, it was like, Bad, bad boy, take 420 million, blah, blah, blah. And there were these skeletons sitting in the moat, and the QET was a wreck, and it was getting broken up in the background. Anyway, here we go again. Take three. <laughs> unless we're moving, you know, like, uh, right. none, none of my guys can sleep unless they're, like, you know, when we go home, we get the wife to shake the bed so as we can go to sleep, and all that stuff. Stand up and go, yeah, We're just no use to it, you know, make an engine noise and you <laughs> rock the bed, you know, and you can go to sleep then. She thinks it's a bit kinky. That's, that's the, funny, the funniest one is, like, when you get up and you're going to go for a pee, you know, and so you, you, you get... You see guys going to bed, they go home, and you see them doing this, they go. Because they think they're getting in a bunk. <laughs> you know, you're trying, and they go like that. And then you go out, and then you go to the toilet, and you go like that, and then you're standing in the middle of the night, half asleep, and you're going. You know, try to food. press the, you know, the, they've got a thing that you press, and you're going. An American bus. Because it's not there, you know, it's not. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I think you just. Uh, the best one I ever had was Alex Harvey. He was, he was Alex Harvey. Alex. God, God rest him. And he was he was on he'd been on tour in the States and he came back and uh, he, he got a phone call in the morning, right? And he went, right, right, I'm up, I'm up. And the guy's going, hello? Is that you, Alex? He and, 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 and he ordered room service. And he ordered room service. <laughs> this guy that phoned him. 
music his mate or something, you know. Can I like all the anonymous Jason, two eggs over easy. Listen, I like weak talking about you don't get that at home. No. I don't get room service when I'm at home. No. There'll be none of that. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is the norm, you know. We're, we're out, uh, we spend most of the year on tour buses. Yeah. It's very romantic. Very, you know, everybody goes like, oh, I'd love to do what you do. Oh, oh, oh. well, you might like some of it. <laughs> I think most people would like it for about a week. Right. You know, it's like, I was on holiday this week <coughs> with my wife and family, my oldest boy and his wife and the two grandkids that came in. Right? Oh, and Mary Ann was like, she couldn't remember her room number for the first two days, you know. And she was going, I don't know how you do that. Like, every day, she's I just, uh, not interested. It's like, I don't want to do this, you know. I do that all the time, I go, you, you don't get keys anymore. They give you these wee plastic cards. But it's absolutely useless, right? Because half the time they don't work. But you go like 212, right? That's one. So you're up there, you're trying it, it's not working. Ah, because that was, you were in 212 last night. Right. You're, you're in 516 today. Right, right, today, and you're, you're going. Guys, uh, the guys, been with us forever. Aye, uh, they've, they've been with us for most of the 20 years anyway. Yeah. You know, the, 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 and they're all from, they're all the local boys. You know, they're all they all come from Oh yeah, we've got a token Englishman. Yes, we have. You know, um, uh, he's from English London. field. English, uh, but yeah. he's worked with us for 20 years as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the guys all live. I mean, they were all at school with each other and, uh, and stuff. They're all a wee bit younger than us. Well, everybody is. I mean, Santa's younger than us. Really. Yeah, the Pope's younger than me. But uh, they, um, they've got uh, Stevie and Rab. They were at school together. And well, Stevie's my cousin. We've got their sons work on the road crew. It's pretty much. Uh, we're going to call it Nazareth and sons and mm. cousins. You know, like on it's the side of the van. You know, you've, you've got to be born into this job. You know, it doesn't, or just daft, uh, uh, it doesn't come up for anybody, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've always had the same guys. Aye, right. pretty much. Yeah. And, they're, and they're, they are, they are very good, they are very good. I've got, to, I've got to admit, they are very good. Although I don't really want that on a film because they want to rise and I'm fed up with that, you know. They, no, as we say they to want mere money, if we stuff, say that. We said to Tom the other day when he was doing the stuff for the movie, he was doing the, the virus lab. Right. Says, Tom, we need to get you in the band. Right. He went, oh, no, I'm not taking a drop in wages for anybody. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. We were at Shepparton when we did the, the, the DVD that we're doing right now. And Tom, our uh, guy that does our guitars, Tam does a lot of percussion stuff, you know. He does uh, a right. slap, the tambourine, and the kit. He does all sorts of things. You don't see him doing it because he's off He's off stage, you know. He does all that. He's very, very good. He's a great guitar player, actually, as well. And of course, we were, getting, we were getting it all panned and get a nice sound of that. So we phoned Tam up to say, hey Tam, you're a star on this one, right? So, so we're going to bring out a wee, we're going to bring out a wee CD with Tam's greatest hits and all, all the things that he plays on it, you know? Tam going, that's me on the tambourine, that's me on the cowbell. <laughs> he plays in the movie. 
He does look like that. He's a He's a very busy man. Come on, we're not, we're not, this, this was not part of the deal. Normally, you know, our lead singer doesn't leave all his stage gear lying in a hotel that we don't have a number Hello. for. Uh, my name's Mr McCafferty. I stayed in your hotel a couple of nights ago. And I left my trousers. Right, I left some clothes there. It's been a long time, right. yeah. and it's getting longer. Apparently so. Hopefully, it keeps getting longer oh, and yes. longer. Oh, I mean, it's good to wake up in the morning, I like that. Uh, hey, another day. Oh. It's a bonus. Oh, every day is a bonus, that's for sure. Right. I'm Yeah.